Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a kickstart video where we take a look at three of the major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, the dollar versus yen, and sterling versus U.S. dollar. There's a lot going on today, so let's get started. A couple of key events in the uh, European session. One, the uh, Swiss National Bank uh, surprisingly cut their rates by 25 basis points, uh, citing low inflation. Uh, and that uh, helped to uh, push uh, the uh, dollar versus uh, Swiss uh, to the upside and the euro, euro versus U.S. dollar to the downside, uh, basically a, a lower currencies in Europe. Uh, also, uh, around the same time, some uh, PMI uh, flash manufacturing data came out weaker in Europe. So that may have helped contribute to the decline from uh, in the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar as well. Recall from yesterday, the euro surged higher after the Federal Reserve kept their, uh, the idea that they would have three rate cuts in 2024 in play. Uh, and that was uh, cheered on by the market and the market moved sharply to the upside in the process. We moved above this uh, 200 uh, hour moving average. That's a green line in this chart. You see the momentum to the upside off of that level and that momentum continued in uh, trading here today. Uh, the price uh, price high uh, went up and uh, tested, the, uh, tested and moved uh, briefly through. Uh, this uh, trend line right through here uh, that uh, test that uh, connected the recent highs yet uh, after initially testing it here we moved above it and then fell back below that level leading to uh, the uh, uh, rotation to the downside of course the data here uh, pushed the price up back below that 200 hour moving average by the way it also is home to a uh, at least a swing low right through here uh, that uh, was um, uh, kept the uh, bullishness alive here when we fell below the level here and started to use that level as resistance, more or less right through here. Uh, and uh, we did uh, hold uh, support ahead here before moving to the upside. So uh, the uh, price moved below both those levels, moved down to um, a, a low of 1.0887, which happened to uh, correspond with this uh, high right here. And uh, maybe this low right here, it got a little messy, of course, through here at that level. But uh, nevertheless, this was a, uh, a an old high going back to February. And markets tends to think about that. Uh, it also uh, held above the 100 bar moving average, 100 hour moving average. The uh, subsequent rise to the upside has now seen a rotation back to the downside and back down testing that 200 hour moving average and swing level at the 1.0902 level and also the natural support at 1.09. So we'll see how that level um, that level seems to be a barometer now for buyers and sellers. Uh, the uh, This area right through here between 1.0915 and 1.0918 will also be eyed on the uh, top side as a resistant resistance price should be in yellow yellow uh, and i'll change that but uh, that level corresponds with uh, different uh, swing highs and lows i'm uh, going back through this period right through here 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 uh here and it's a uh, it's pretty pretty good uh, swing level in there between those uh, two levels so watch that that level we did uh, uh, bounce off of the low and move briefly above that level but then use that level as resistance right through here so I think it uh, deserves some attention today so uh, the, the the close support and resistance resistance at 1.0919 support at 1.0990 uh, break break outside of each of those ranges I uh, would uh, lead to hope uh, what, what traders would hope to be increased momentum in the direction of the break let's take a look at the dollar versus yen next and uh if we look at the hourly chart for this uh, currency pair uh it moved uh uh it well first of all it trade well let's go to the daily chart in this because uh yesterday the high price tested the high price from 2023 or got close to it uh the uh, high price yesterday reached uh, one point uh 151.45 no i'm sorry 151.81 that was about 10 pips short of the 2023 high. And then uh, this high going back to 2022 was at uh, 151.94. So I uh, got within about 14, 15 pips of that, that level. It's good enough for a triple top up here off this uh, daily chart. And the price started to rotate back to the downside of the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. The uh, low price that we saw in trade here today did uh, test this uh, old swing area, the high of the old swing area up to 150. 0.158 so be aware of that but let's uh, go back to the hourly chart and take a look at that uh this is the um, move to the upside uh, up at uh, the 81 level we came down yesterday and tested the 38.2 percent retracement of this last move to the upside that was a key hold hold uh that uh, if it uh, continued to hold would be more bullish for this uh, pair and uh, we did see the, ro uh, the uh, rotation back to the upside but then the asian session the price did fall below that level uh and uh, 
and uh, we saw increased momentum to the downside, but uh, could not uh, sustain the momentum down to the rising 100-hour moving average. And we did break below 50%, but uh, you can see the rebound back to the upside. Uh, we are um, currently back above the 38.2, back above this uh, swing area through here, which has uh, which was the, this uh, ceiling area through here where we had a number of different uh, swing highs forming this ceiling through here, here, here. The last test was right there. So uh, watch this area between 150.70 and 150 150.80. Uh, looks like an 85 uh, or thereabouts uh, on the uh, top side. As long as the price holds that level, and we are trying to hold it, or we have hold it, held it in the early or late um, European morning session uh, and moving back to the upside. So that's good news. Uh, the buyers remain more in control in the dollar versus yen. Uh, despite this uh, failed break to the downside here uh, 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 earlier today. Finally, let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar. We had the Bank of England interest rate decision uh, that uh, showed that uh, uh, there is one dissenter that was in favor of ease. Uh, there's uh, you know, there's an overtures toward uh, uh, easier policy, inflation coming down, so on and so forth. And that it has uh, been good enough to push the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar further to the downside. Uh, we did, did get the uh, move to the low side off the Swiss National Bank in the weaker data, and that took the price below the 200-hour moving average at 1.27619. That's going to be a level of concern uh, of, of, uh, for uh, traders to watch. Also, uh, fell back below the 38 point broken 38.2 percent retracement at 1.275399. This is probably close resistance now for the pair as long as the price remains below that level. The bias remains to the downside. Uh, but uh, the, and the, these areas right here, or these uh, moving averages right here, are also key barometer. We've been trading above and below it, and also the swing area through here. So the sellers are trying to make a play in the strong versus U.S. dollar. If we can stay below these levels, the uh, sell, sellers remain in control. So overall, a uh, comment there is a lot going on. A lot of central banks are starting to get involved as well. Swiss National Bank leading the way with their interest rate cut. We'll see how it all pans out. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.